WDSE's multi-platform producer Ramona Morozes talked with Bob Kill of Enterprise Minnesota about manufacturing in our region. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for uh, having me and thank you for the opportunity to talk about manufacturing in Duluth, St. Louis County, and the state of Minnesota. Can you share what all happens during October Manufacturing Month? It's a great re renaissance and recovery of manufacturing. For the last 10 years, it's just grown nationally and of course in Minnesota. Manufacturers open up their doors to students, to legislative, to interested parties, to other executives. Uh, we've facilitated a lot of visits, but this particular year, it's a little different because they're not opening their doors because we're not all essential to their business. How has the pandemic impacted manufacturing in the Northland? I think the biggest thing I could say is manufacturers have risen to the occasion. They maybe took uh, 30 to 45 days to try to evaluate what is going to happen. What we've seen is about 30 to 45 days were spent to kind of get acclimated. And now they're trying to get as close to business as usual as possible because some industries are thriving, others are challenged. What are some challenges Northland manufacturers are facing? Well, I think they're facing, you know, and we do the state of manufacturing and I can't give away what's coming up on November 5th, but I can give you a hint that is still finding employees is very difficult. Duluth is one example of a tough, tough market finding qualified people, as you know, uh, you know, and, uh, and it's part of it's because it's under the vibrancy of the, of the manufacturing industry. So finding people still is the biggest, is, is a big challenge. Why do you think it is such a challenge to find qualified workers? Well, first of all, I think that uh, you know the workforce itself isn't growing like uh, the demand is. But the bottom line is, you know, we've spent a decade sometimes telling young people that manufacturing is not a great career. Let me let me make sure that everybody understands it is a great career. Thirteen percent of the jobs in Minnesota, and it's sixteen percent of the salary. So no other industry can talk about a twenty percent multiple of wage over hours. You know, but we're really recovering in letting people know the value of a manufacturing job can turn into a career. And I'd say that you know, people sometimes talk about minimum wage. Manufacturers don't know what minimum wage is. No one starts in a manufacturing company anywhere near a minimum wage. It's way above that. And career advancement is, is, is very opportunistic because uh, manufacturing has been rediscovered. You know? Manufacturing and making something is cool again, and we just have to convince more individuals and more parents that that's the case. I think automation, we always think of robots, you know, the robot. But I've been around long enough to know that a uh, long, long, long time ago, we were told the computer was going to replace us. But you know what? The human still can do thinking that the computer can't. And the best quote I would leave you is automation complements the skill of the people, does not replace them. I can't, and I, and I can take you to as many manufacturers like to have put in different kinds of automation. But automation is often has to be tied to improving the process. Uh, maybe it's a unique process that, you know, it's just becoming not, you're not, not able to find the individual that wants to do it. But the automation may allow that individual to, not, to now do a job that they do enjoy doing. So it tends to complement. Uh, but it isn't just a robot. It could be machining, specialized handling equipment, etc. Can you please share how Enterprise Minnesota supports manufacturing in the Northland and why? And our mantra is helping manufacturing enterprises grow profitably. So, you know, we really think about, can we help them with strategy? Can we help them with revenue growth, finding new customers, new products? Uh, you know, what's really been, uh, really good to see is the number of companies investing in leadership and talent during this uh, pandemic the last seven months as they start to realize that it really is connecting back to people. We help organizations get certain certifications that they need to get into new markets. So one I would think of is Van Technologies right in Duluth, uh, who's gotten an ISO certification so that they can pursue new, new markets. Uh, just one example. You know, St. Louis County has 215 approximately manufacturers. Most people wouldn't uh, realize that number is that great. You know, of course, everyone knows of Cirrus, 
uh, we're a wonderful company. But you know, right down the road from them is Clearwater Composites, which also is dealing in some very high uh, end composites, very interesting technology. Uh, across the state, there's 8,300 manufacturers. But an interesting statistic in St. Louis County or across the state is that about out of that 8,300, about 4,600 are under 10 employees. So that very small family business is vital to manufacturing. And oftentimes they're in a supply chain of a larger company like a Cirrus or like a Toro or Polaris or someone like that. So these, these very small manufacturers are really vital to our economy as a state, region, and it's oftentimes in small communities. The other thing is, you know, you got great access. You know, manufacturers want to be located you know, years ago, it was on a river for transportation of goods. Then it was railroads. Now it's the freeway system. And Duluth is not only situated to go east and west, but also to the lake if they're manufacturing something large. So that's important, important also. But, you know, the innovation and ingenuity of the manufacturers, very small, small, mid-sized and up to large, has really been enjoyable to watch. It's been fun. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Kill. Well, thank you very much for allowing me to uh, chat about manufacturing. It's a passion. It's a passion of all the Enterprise Minnesota individuals.